Hey guys, it's Minty here. And in this quick video, I'll show you how to produce a full track using only Minifuse with its awesome software bundle package. Let's get into it. With Minifuse, you don't only get a compact audio interface, but also a way to make music while enjoying every second of it. This is thanks to the software bundle that comes with it. Right, now that we know what's what, let's start making our track. To do that, follow these steps. Connect your microphone to Minifuse. Set a good gain level and activate phantom power if your microphone needs it. Enable Minifuse as your audio device in your DAW audio settings. Create your first audio track. Activate audio input one and arm the track. Who will say to one man who will fail? To one man who will say to one man will find me, will find me? For this main vocal line, I will use two tracks, one for the main melody and another to double it with autotune to make it feel a bit more robotic and fluid. To do this, I simply create a new audio track and drag and drop the included Antares autotune effect on the second vocal track. This is how the two vocal tracks sound together. Who will say to one man who will fail? To one man who will say to one man will find me, will find me? Now we can start building up the song with more elements. Let's open the Splice sound library and type drums or percussion into the search bar. These loops sound great. To add them, drag and drop it onto Live's arrangement view. And this is how it sounds together with my earlier recording. Who will say to one man who will fail? To one man who will say to one man who will find me? That's sounding awesome already. Next, we'll record some synth bass. To do this, I'll connect a jack cable from my synth output to Minifuse audio input. Now we can create a new audio track in live by pressing Command plus T on Mac or Control plus T on Windows. Pick the input number in the audio from column and arm the track. Before we begin, let's move the playhead to the first bar and start recording. Now, I'll go for some more melodic elements. We'll be using Analog Lab Intro Sounds Collection to pick some pads, which is included with Minifuse. Instead of programming them with my mouse, I'll connect and power Minilab MK2 to the USB hub on the back of Minifuse to save my USB slots. Let's now create a MIDI track in live by pressing Command plus Shift plus T on Mac or Control plus Shift plus T on Windows and simply drag and drop an instance of Analog Lab Intro onto it. In the home section, I can easily find and enter the pad category to find some cool space sounds. Time to record. Now, let's work a little bit on the arrangement. To start off, let's use our percussive rhythm and the bass line at the intro part for the first eight bars. Next up, We'll introduce the first vocal after the next eight bars. We'll keep them for twice as long with the bass line and percussion included as well. To prepare the breakdown, we'll erase the percussion and bass at bar 48 and add the second auto-tuned vocal and introduce the pads, just like this. Now the most simple thing to do would be select everything that is present in our arrangement and duplicate it to extend the length of the track. <laughs> Finally, let's talk about mixing. First off, we need to set the panning and volume levels. Our main vocal is most important. Therefore, we won't be decreasing its volume, but it sounds like the bass line could be brought down, while the hums and pads can go up a bit. Now, 
now we can focus on the additional Arturia effects. First off, we want to use the 1973 preamp to boost our bass and vocals. For the vocal track, this preset should work nicely. While this one should add a touch of magic to our bass sound, turning the original recording into a more full and powerful sound. Now lastly, let's add spatial effects. These are placed in our send channels and we can simply increase their send amount for particular channels. I want to add more reverb to our vocal, like this. That's it! Hopefully, now you have a clear understanding on how to use the Minifuse to its full potential, unlocking not only its own cool features, but also taking full advantage of all of the great software that comes with it. Every bit of software used in this video comes included. If you're looking for guidance on how to record vocals, synth lines, use MIDI or record guitars with your Minifuse unit, make sure to check out the Minifuse How-To series videos on our channel. Thanks for watching and see you soon.